Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I am going to be walking you through some new software that um, I think is pretty cool to use. So this is an alternative to those of you that don't have Photoshop. This is another site that you can use and it's called IMG Creator. You can see it here in the top, IMG Creator. Um, you can go to this site and you can use this site to edit your photos or to create a design like you would with your um, AI digital image software as well. So today we're gonna focus on um, editing a photo since a lot of us go to various sources to edit a photo. I know you can go to remove.bg to remove the background and kind of um, alternate the background that you've removed. But here we're gonna talk about how you can also do your sizing and everything right inside of IMG Creator. And then I'll come back and I'll talk about how to create a design. So today we're gonna focus on editing a design. So here I am, and like I said, you have two options. What would you like to create? You want to edit a photo or create a design. So we're going to say edit a photo. And then you start with an AI image. So this could be an image that you have used, Mid Journey or Creative Fabrica, Spark, um, Playground, AI, you know, any other AI software. And it doesn't have to be an AI image. It could be any image, okay? So we're going to say open an AI, open an image. And I am going to open up this little cutie right here. She's cute. So we're going to open that image. And when it comes in on the left side, you're going to have various um, options that you can use to edit this image. And then on the right side, you have what are called like your layers. So you have the image layer and you have your background layer. And if you've used Photoshop before, then you're used to layers. If you've used Cricut Design Space, you're also used to layers being on the right-hand side. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is removing this background. So in order to remove the background, you want to make sure that you, um, on the left-hand side here, you're going to click on background. And then you're going to <clears throat> go back over to your image. You're gonna click on your image and you're going to select remove background. Okay, so on the right, excuse me, on the left-hand side, you're gonna hit background and then you're gonna click on the image and then it's gonna open up that layer for the background and you're gonna get this option here, this button that says remove background, and you're gonna click that. And just that easy, your background has been removed, all nice and clean, and all that good stuff. Now, the great thing about this is also on the left-hand side, you now have options where you can use a solid color, you know, a city, a festival, texture, you can have a starry background, a nature background, whatever you so choose. So all you would have to do is just click on the background and it will automatically put that background there. Now, as you can see, she's kind of floating because she's not level to the bottom. So what we can do is go here on the left-hand side and hit resize. And we're gonna click on the image and we're just gonna bring her down. Just drag her down a little bit. And now she's not floating, okay? You can also do a random size sizing of the width and the height. So right now it's at 800 by 800 and you can confirm this. If you are a, so you're doing this for social media, those have already been defined for you. So Instagram, 1080 by 1920. 
Instagram posts, 1080 by 1080, so on and so forth. So they've already been put in place for you. So if you're someone that sells images on Facebook Marketplace, you can come here, edit your photos for the items that you're selling, and make sure you select this Facebook Marketplace 1080 by 1080 so that your image comes out nice and crisp and um, perfect for the sizing for Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to say this is going to be a Facebook post. And you can see it automatically put my sizing there and I can click to confirm. And so now I have, make sure I selected it. Okay, so now we have a 1200 by 628. It is locked. So if I were to move anything around, it's not going to distort my image, okay? So we're gonna go back over to our background. And we're going to put this background in because I like that background with, with her. She looks really cute. We're going to go back to resize. And I'm going to bring her down just a little bit more. Kind of bring her up. Just sizing her so that I can get all of her in there without her, you know, her head being cut off. And you want to make sure you select the resize um, option. All right, so there we have that. We have our sizing over here. Um, and then you have just normal sizes. If you're not posting this to social media, you know, is it a row, a column, just a regular rectangle, you know, so on and so forth, you can select those as well, okay? Um, now, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to you about editing a uh, or creating a design and we'll continue to build onto this, but I'm gonna give you this information in chunks, okay? The other good thing here is you can add text and you can select a template. You can come down and select your font size, you know. So we select that. And then on the right side, it's going to give you your options for that text, you know, your font size. You want it bold, italicized. Um, do you want a left align, center, or right align? Your color. Do you want to have an outline or a shadow? Um, you can copy that text if you're going to put more than one uh, text there so that you don't have to go through all that again, or you can delete the text altogether. So all you would need to do is just click on that text, and we're going to type in. Hold on. Be Valentine's Day. All right, so once you get your text in there, you can change your coloring. So let's give it like more of a, a white. And to move it around, guys, you have to always make sure whatever you're trying to move, you click on resize. And then that will give you the ability to, you know, to size it. I'm going to change that color one more good time because I don't like that. We're going to center that. <clears throat> and let's go back and see if we can get it a little bit lighter. Okay. So there we have Happy Valentine's Day. You could even go so far as to put a name here. Um, but One Stop Shop came in. We um, brought a photo in. We removed the background. We kind of sized her up so that she fits perfectly inside of our um, background. And then we added some text here. Okay, so now we have three layers. We have our background layer, we have our image layer, and then we have our um, text layer. Okay, so you'll have three of those there based on what you have going on here. And again, if you're used to Photoshop, this is an alternative to Photoshop. Um, because you, you also have layers that you play around with in Photoshop as well, okay? So now that we have all of that um, done, then when you get ready to save your image, you're going to come here and you're going to select Download. And my image is here in the bottom left corner has this long number and then PNG. And there's my image, all perfectly beautiful, okay? So 
Um, like I said, I wanted to keep this video clip short. And we're just talking about removing the background and editing a image that you've already created. I created this image in Midjourney and I wanted to kind of play around with it. Um, but yeah, that's how you use IMG Creator. And the, the um, software, let me see if I can get to the pricing here. Hold on one sec. All right, here we go. So for the pricing, you can earn credits. If you log in daily, you get 10 credits for checking in. So you just click in check now and you got 10 points. Um, you get 20 credits every time you invite someone. Um, you'll get 20 credits because everything works off credits here. And then you get eight credits when you share an image. So if I said share now, and I go into, you can see I kind of played around with some of the stuff out here. If I go in and say, I want to share this image. And we're going to say to Facebook. Okay, and here it is. And we're gonna just say, you can choose to where you wanna post it public or you wanna post it to friends. Um, and let me go back. So those are that you can earn um, credits out here. You can also buy credits, okay? So um, here you can see that for $9, $9.99, you can subscribe, you get 300 credits a month. For um, 800 credits is $19 per month. And then unlimited use, it's going to be $29 um, per month, okay? And you can come out here and check this out on your own. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail, but IMG Creator, guys, this is some great software that you can actually use to edit your photos. And then I'll come back and I'll talk about um, the great use of this tool for creating a design. You're going to be blown out of your mind. We're going to knock your socks off um, with that, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So we're going to keep it at that. And if you guys are currently following me on Facebook, my Facebook group is Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. And if you would like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description of this um tutorial all you have to do is click on the more which is a link that'll take you to the description and you can um, um click on my facebook group candor's cricket and creative crafters to join the group you do have to agree to the facebook group rules and then if you're currently subscribed to my youtube channel i want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my youtube channel and if you would like to join my channel uh, or subscribe and please do so as well as like and share if you've learned anything or you think others that you know may benefit from um, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have over, I think, 400 video tutorials on all types of crafting um, projects that will help you out. And I try to go from beginning to end and explain everything to you end to end to leave no questions unanswered, okay? All right, guys, and I'm gonna also link the IMG Creator. I'm gonna um, link this website in the description as well. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an awesome day.